So essentially what we're trying to do is make a coffee stout and we're using, uh, instead of say brewing uh, a coffee in water, we are essentially cold steeping and cold brewing in beer. And the, and the beer in this case is our outlaw milk stout. So we ground up about 13 and a half pounds of a specialty roast for Magpie and we put that into nylons of all things. In this case, four legs worth of nylons, uh, stuffing 13 and a half pounds of coffee into the nylon tubes, and those get hung into a serving tank. Uh, that serving tank is now essentially filled with beer, but we're going to top it up with another barrel and a half of Outlaw Stout. It's going to make about seven barrels of coffee stout. The second year in a row that we've been using uh, Magpie Coffee, uh, they're great to work with. The coffee smelled amazing when we ground it. So I have a feeling it's going gonna, it's gonna to impart a really nice flavor to this beer. I've yet to have like a coffee beer that actually tastes like the coffee that they've used. The flavor that it imparts on the beer itself is generally just like what you would think of as coffee flavor, you know, like so what coffee ice cream tastes like, right? But uh, the coffee that we use will probably impart a lot of um, aromatics to it. So you'll still get a lot of the aromatics that come out of this coffee because it is super aromatic to continue to use that term. Um, it, it's just, it smells wonderful. And so you'll get a lot of that out of it, but in terms of the flavor, it'll probably just add a coffee taste to that beer. Uh, a lot of it is the way that we're doing it right now. Um, by cold brewing it, you don't tend to get as much of the acid out of it. And uh, coffee is all about solubles and basically um, certain temperatures extracting that out of the coffee. So by doing a cold steep in it, uh, you're not really extracting as much out of it as you could be with like a regular brewed coffee. Um, I don't think many people are trying to do like hot brewed coffee into a beer. And that's one of the things we're gonna work with uh, with Great Basin over the next however many months to try to play around with that and see if the next time around we can add, in, add a little bit more of the characteristic from the coffee to the flavor component of it as opposed to just aromatics and like a coffee flavor. Yes, it will be on tap in all of our basin locations on Monday. The, today is the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, Monday the 9th.